Good morning everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the folate inhibitor antibiotics. Famously, sulfonamide, trimethoprim, and dapsone. To understand the mechanism of action, let's look at this first. Imagine you want to build a brick wall. First you're going to have to bring some bricks, and you're going to start building the wall. The wall will get bigger and bigger, and eventually you're going to have a brick wall. And this is essentially how DNA is made. First, we're gonna have to bring some bricks, which are PA, BA, and tyridine. These building blocks will become dihydrofolic acid using the enzyme synthase, which will become tetrahydrofolic acid using the enzyme reductase, and that will become DNA. If we inhibit either of these enzymes, we will inhibit DNA synthesis. Drugs that inhibit synthase are sulfonamide and dapsone. Drugs that inhibit reductase are trimethoprim, methotrexate, and pyrimethamine. If we really want to kill some bacteria, we can use two different drugs from these two groups and have sequential block of the DNA synthesis. So first, sulfonamides. These are the sulfonamide medications. They're used for both gram-negative and gram-positive infections, including nocardia. Nocardia infection perfectly mimics TB infection. In my step one exam, I actually had a question that was a long scenario about a patient with clear case of TB, but the PPD was negative, so the answer was nocardia. Sulfonamides can cause serum sickness reaction, which is hypersensitivity type 3, Steven Johnson syndrome, G6PD deficiency hemolytic anemia, and it can displace albumin bound drugs like warfarin. There are three ways that the bacteria can resist sulfonamide it can cause plasmid mediated efflux of the drug, exactly like tetracyclines or it can mutate the synthase enzyme or simply increase the PABA. Next of the folate inhibitors we have trimethoprim. It's used for salmonella and shigella infections and pneumocystic urovecci. It's very very important to know that it can also be used as toxoplasmosis prophylaxis. The main side effect is that it causes marrow suppression, which we can compensate by giving folic acid supplementation. Remember, TMP treats marrow poorly. And finally, we have Dapson. We use it for leprosy infection and as prophylaxis for pneumocystic urvecci. Dapson causes a granulocytosis and hemolysis if taken in a patient with G6PD deficiency. To sum up, let's have a quiz. Try to link these infections with the following medications. And here is the right order. Alright guys, that's everything I've got. I know this is a little bit long, but I tried to cover all the important stuff. Anyway, hopefully I made this easier for you. Thanks a ton for watching, and I'll see you guys later.